Now, Apple Door, we were talking about Apple Door on The Breakfast Show last week here on BBC Radio Devon, and an 8,000 signature petition will be handed into the House of Commons today, calling on the government to protect shipbuilding at Apple Door. The owners, Babcock, say they're disappointed not to have secured a contract for the Maltese Armed Forces and is reviewing the implications for the business. The petition's been organised by the GMB and Unite Unions. Heathcliff Pettifer is the Unite's regional officer. Extreme measures, Heathcliff, would you say? Hello, Gordon. Uh, thank you for having me on. You're welcome. Um, when you say extreme measures, you mean in terms of uh, what the action that we've taken to safeguard the shipyard or...? Yeah, is this like a last resort? Well, I mean, yeah, we're, we're kind of, we're, we feel like I think we're a, cl a cliff edge, but there's been a huge amount of support um, from obviously the workers, the workforce in the yard, but the community in general. Um, we've been really proud um, uh, and encouraged by the amount of support. And actually, I think the, the petition now totals over 9,000 signatures. So um, we're determined to, to make our point today. Uh, we're going to see Jeffrey Cox. I've I'm a kind of single-issue protagonist because I see Jeffrey regularly at uh, local surgeries in North Devon and always talk about the shipyard and its future. Um, and we really, really hope that there's going to be some good news for us because um, it, it's possible the government could have a grown-up conversation with Babcock uh, and do something to save the future of, of that historic yard. I know a lot of people, a lot of people, Heathcliff, will be wishing you well. Petitions. We see them all the time, handed in at Downing Street. Yes, it is a token, and, and yes, it is a visual thing that makes the news, and we're talking about it this morning, aren't we? But realistically, Heathcliff, realistically, what can you hope a petition would achieve? Uh, Gordon, I think what, what we've been um, encouraged by is that, um, along with the electronic signature with the online petition, yeah, people are able to leave comments and the kind of support we've had is fantastic but it's worldwide um, and of course the other important thing is that we're very well supported by the local businesses as well as the community in the in the um, Appledore, Biddeford and the district, Torres Districts area because the shipyard is such a an important player. It's um, the, the research we've done as a union means that one pound that's earned in the shipyard is worth three pounds in the economy, and it affects not just the workforce there and the supply chains, you know, the engineering companies that work mm. also do the, the supply work for Apple, but it, supply, it, it affects people like the, the hairdressers, the fish and chip shops, the pubs, the newspaper shops. Of course. So, um, it's just a big deal, and, you know, Jeffrey Cox must understand that, um, and, and the irony is, you know, there are government contracts waiting to be issued. OK, um, give, give, an, give an example or two. I'd love an example or two, Heathcliff, because I mentioned the, the, the Maltese Armed Forces. Can, can yeah. you give us other examples that, of contracts that could be given to Appledore? Yep, there are packages of, of, of work um, on a contract called Dreadnought that could go to Appledore. Um, they're current, that's current, um, and there's no reason... Uh, in this uh, currently, uh, particularly after the, the, the part that Appledore played in the uh, shipbuilding alliance that built the two aircraft carriers, that, that, that those packages couldn't be sent to Appledore. Then there are contracts for the Type 31E, which are frigates the government want built, and they've postponed that and, ha and, and, um, and held it up already once because Babcock were the only show in town. <laughs> Again, ironically, um, a consortium led by Babcock uh, put in a tender, and the government thought that it would be unfair just to issue that work directly to them. So they stopped it, and then they opened it up again. And there are the solid fleet support ships, which effectively are Royal Naval ships. Um, the, the Royal Naval ships should be built in the UK. I don't think, honestly, anyone would argue with that. Mm. Yet the government um, seem intent on opening this, these contracts up to worldwide competition. And yeah. It becomes very difficult for, uh, you know, a yard like Appledore to compete on that world stage. And, and I'm glad you mentioned being competitive. You, you have to be competitive, whatever line of business you're in. And my final point, Heathcliff, is that I, I have uh, just a, a short statement from Babcock. And it says it's disappointed not to have secured a contract for the armed forces in Malta. And it's reviewing the implication for the business. How do you read that term? It's reviewing the implication for the business. Well, Gordon, um, and by
by the way, I'm really excited to be on your show because I, I listen all the time. And uh, I was listening. I'm at Tiverton Parkway Station now, ready to meet my colleagues that are tra- tra- travelling up by train um, from Plymouth. I, I was listening to the to your your news reports, and um, they were that was my exact thought. What does that mean? And they're disappointed. I can tell you, they're not half as disappointed as the workforce in Appleton Shipyard. Um, you know, there's frustration, confusion, anger, um, but we are so encouraged by the support we've had. Okay, what does it mean? Um, we don't know. That's why we're going to Parliament, and we're hoping that Geoffrey Cox can shed some light on that. We hope to see um, Gavin Williamson, who's the Secretary of State for Defence, and we've got an appointment with Mia Griffith, who's the Shadow Secretary, mm. um, afterwards immediately. And uh, if we get any more news, any developments, particularly um, positive and encouraging ones, we'll come straight back and let you know. Please do. Our, our door is always open. And as you rightly say, Heathcliff, it's not just the workers directly. It, it's the sandwich shop. It's the it's the cafe. It's the hairdresser. It's the news agent. You know, so many peripherals uh, off the back of this. Heathcliff, we wish you well. Thank you very much, Gordon. You're more than welcome. Heathcliff Petfer, the Unite's regional officer. Uh, for GMB and the Unites Unions getting together and putting that petition to Westminster today.